Hi, my name is Lois Francis and in this video I want to talk to you about how you can relieve stress by getting some balance back in your life. For many of us there is a constant pressure. We are trying to juggle the demands of our work life and our home life. And sometimes it can seem as the pressure of work builds up and so our stress levels increase until we feel they become unmanageable. It can seem as though work literally takes over your life and it feels as though you're living to work rather than working to live. And for many people the pressure becomes so much they're taking work home with them and they begin to feel as though they just want to run away and leave it all behind them. You may be one of those people who lies awake worrying about work at night. And yet, you know, I'm willing to bet if you go and have a look at your contract of employment that nowhere does it say that you should be taking work home or that you should be lying awake and worrying about work. And quite honestly, no employer deserves use of your brain time at night when you should be sleeping. So if the situation gets like that for you, then you need to ask for a meeting with your boss. Make a list of everything that's not working, whether you've got too much work or you haven't got the training or resources you need, and be very clear and specific and tell them what they need to do. You know, employers are human beings just like us, and if they see that you're coping or appearing to cope, then they'll very often just assume that everything is okay. And so you really need to be proactive and talk to them and let them know if your stress levels are becoming unmanageable, if your workload is unmanageable. There are some things that you can do to help to relieve your stress and get a better balance in your life. First of all, you might want to debrief yourself at the end of the working day. Just take a few minutes to make a list of the tasks that have been held over that you haven't had time to do on that day and prioritise them ready for the next day. So number one would be important and urgent, two would be important but not urgent and three for everything else. And obviously you do the number one task first on the next day. By making a list it reassures your brain, it says yes I know what I've got to do the next day so as soon as I leave work I can let it go, I don't need to think about it anymore. And secondly when you leave work and you leave the building as you exit the doors, you say to yourself, right, I'm leaving work at work. This is now my time. And any time that work thoughts pop up into your head, you just gently say to yourself, no, this is my time now. And that means that you will be able to let go of work so that you enjoy your time and your downtime, your relaxation time with your family or your friends.